Uh, hello everyone, this is JSOC Jenkins Docker Base Quick Start Meeting, May the 29th. Uh, so it's the end of the bonding period, I'm afraid. <laughs> so the weird work starts now. Um, did everything go fine on your side, uh, Ashutosh, during the bonding period? Yes, everything went really good. Cool. So, um, Let's have a quick look at my checklist. Uh, so the bio was okay. It has been merged. Yes. Okay. Um, the project page also, yes, yeah, has been merged too. Uh, you've done another PR uh, regarding the look of the page, uh, so we can add yes. more links. Yeah. yeah. Layouts. Yes. And I think ha I have reviewed your introductory blog post, uh, but yes. I haven't seen if it was already merged or not. It's merged. Oh, cool. Well done. Uh, I asked if you could see my screen, but is it readable? Because you can see it, but maybe not read. No, it's readable. readable. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Never know. Um, so, what are the news today? Well, the bonding period is ending, so I'm excited about working really. <laughs> so, you had already created your own uh, repo to host your samples, right? Yes. yes, yes. So, samples repo already created. And um, I think it's in the notes from the other day, but don't hesitate to modify the file and put the link to your, where were they? Uh, I don't know if we already had the link to your own repo or was it I, on? I'll paste it in the chat. Oh, cool. Thank you. Let me try to find the chat. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Cool. I was thinking, how uh, how do I make uh, this repo so that every uh, uh, mentor can get an email or message that a uh, new pull request or something is, is uh, done on the repo? Sorry, could you tell it again? Uh, how do I uh, put the setting in the repo so that everyone gets an email when I uh, oh. open a PR in the repository, experiment re repository? Oh, but we yeah. is here. Good idea. Okay, so let me check. Hello, Berviento. Hello, Berviento. Hello. You're not really late. <laughs> yes. We just started. Okay, let me share my screen again because I had some trouble with it. There we go. Uh, sorry to ask you to repeat, but now that Berviento is there. So <laughs> what were you trying to tell us, Ashutosh, before Berviento joined? I was saying, uh, how do I uh, apply the setting to get every mentor the notification if I open a PR in the experimental repo? So do you know how to do that? Uh, not, no, right not right yet. now. Okay. Uh, do you want that we try it together? Okay. I don't know if I know how to do that. I even don't know if that's possible, but <laughs> let's give it a try. <laughs> So would you mind sharing your screen so that we can maybe help you? Can you see my screen or not? Yes, yes, it's big enough for me. Bevento, can you see it? Can you read it? See, I guess you can, but yeah. Yeah, I can. Okay, so um, Ashutosh would like us to be 
warned when something is happening on his repo. I think we could, all of us could uh, get notification by watching, but I don't know if there's anything you can do on your side, Ashutosh. I don't think so. Okay, so, so I'll, uh... Whenever I uh, do anything on this repo, I'll remind everyone on the Gitter channel. Uh, or we could mm, watch your repo and do it accordingly, but why not do it on the Gitter channel? Because maybe sometimes you will commit something, but it's not yet ready to be reviewed, so I don't know. Um, okay. Uh, let me try to uh, see if I can get... Um, if I can subscribe to your page. Come on. Yes, so... Oh, I can't watch. Why can't I? Is it a private repo? No. No, it can't. I wouldn't be able to. Oh, yes, no. It was just GitHub, which is which was lagging for whatever reason. So, let me... Uh, custom. So, issues, yes. Why not? Pull request, yes, of course. Release, I don't know if we will have some releases, but why not? Discussion, of course. Security alert, we haven't configured anything yet, but why not? Okay. So, now you have a subscriber. And it should have <laughs> written three. I don't know why. Okay, uh, that will do. <laughs> Good enough for me. So, Beaviento, what do you think of that? Uh, will you also subscribe, or do you see something better to do to get in touch with what's happening in this repo? I already watched the repo. And okay, I think cool. I think sometimes need to mention in there. Or just have to as reviewers rather, mm -hmm. when create a pull request. Okay, uh, but yes, good idea, I should have to ping us in the Gitter channel, just in case. Yes. Great. Um, let me write it down in the notes. So, uh, mentors. Through Gitter, there we are. Cool. Uh, any other questions, Ashutosh? Uh, I was uh, thinking uh, if uh, yeah, you guys can share your uh, timing which uh, on which I can expect you to reply to me. So on the time uh -huh. you get online. Yeah, of course. Uh, what is my time zone? I think I'm GMT plus two. Let me check. I think you're GMT plus one, friends. Uh, depending, because we're in oh, our yeah. summertime, so. Yes, yes. Yes, I think it's GMT plus two. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, where is it written down? Time zone. Yeah. Oh, come on. Uh, GMT plus two. Yes. yes. There we yes. go. So I should be available from... Uh, I mean, available. I can read, maybe answer, but I have tons of meetings. So available, yeah, somehow. Um, from 9 a.m. to... 7 p.m. Uh, GMT plus 2. Uh, 
can should work asynchronously in any other case. Cool. Um, what about you, Ashutosh? Uh, I think I'll be uh, available from 10 a.m. to um, 9 p.m. GMT plus 5, uh, 5.30. Yeah, I almost forgotten that you have half an hour. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Um, okay. And the thing is, you don't have to be available from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. It's the mentors who should be able to answer your question. You don't have to work on a particular time frame. Uh, but yes, um, if you want or need another synchro, another meeting during the week, just feel free to ask and we'll see what we can do. I have some available slots if ever needed. Okay, um, Bervianto, would you have um, anything to share uh, about your um, availability? Or don't, do you, don't you want to, to share anything? You'll be there when you'll be there. I think I will be available 2 p.m to 8 p.m. Oh, okay. 2 p.m. at GMT plus 7. Thank you. Okay. I, I thought it was worse than that. We have five hours uh, difference, but uh, it's not that major i thought it, we were about eight to ten hours difference but no it's not that big of a difference that's cool and the two of you aren't that far from each other in the world and in matter of time frame also which is pretty cool okay um ashutosh so do you want or need another meeting plan or do you think that you will just have a few questions along the line and then ask them and hope that we could answer um why we are available during the day i think right now the gitter channel is enough i will uh, cool. ask it later if it's necessary okay and whenever we're creating a pull request or anything uh even with, with if we're supposed to have subscribed to our website uh repo don't forget to tag us in the pull request you know arabas gunta arabas beviento arabas Sat, yes, yes. and so on cool i'll remember it. yeah um now about the action items we had I was supposed to have a discussion with the docs sig, but in the last doc sig, it was way too packed up uh, with so many things that we didn't have time to address that, and we are not in a rush. So I do it maybe <laughs> next time. We'll see. Uh, and for something, frankly, no rush because we don't have anything to propose yet. We yes, have to discuss yes. with the doc sig about where where we should uh, put our data, our new documentation about Docker. But for us time being, we don't have any file to share. So that's just the start of the discussion. So once again, no rush. But whenever we can do it, that could be fine. Uh, by the way, you don't have to, but there is a Docs SIG uh, Asia. And I don't know if it's OK with your time zone. I guess it is. But whenever you have time, and if you feel like it, you don't have to do it. Uh, you could attend without even asking any question, just attend or ask a question if you feel like it. Yes, I remember to attend it. When, when does it happen? Uh, which date does it happen? I knew you would have that kind of question yeah. for me. <laughs> Let me check. So on the Jenkins.io website, um, there should be something about SIG. So simple, simple or single? Single interest group. Where is it? Special interest group. Yes, indeed. Documentation. Come on. Uh, my PC isn't doing very good this morning. Uh, come on, 
come on, come on. Uh, where is the meeting define? There we go. Meeting agenda, office hours. So, uh, Friday at Friday. 2 UTC. UTC. I don't know how that translates into your time zone. I'll look it up. It's, uh, I just wanted to know which day it's Friday. So, Okay. We'll see. Feel free to attend if you want to. But yes. It's not monetary. Um, then regarding the discussion about um, how we should integrate our Docker samples to the uh, Jenkins infrastructure, once again, no rush, no hurry. Uh, it's not mandatory to do that in the following weeks. We don't have anything to propose them. And we just have to start the discussion. There is no Docker Compose file to share with them. I wanted to do it early because I thought that uh, members of the community would chime in and um, uh, ask for some more information. And some people would agree, some people would disagree. So that would take a few weeks, maybe. But I don't know. Maybe it would be very straightforward. So. Once again, no rush. Uh, you don't have to do it right now. If you don't feel like it, we can wait until a few weeks from now. And I have uh, regular meetings with people from the infra, so I can ask them uh, before making the conversation public uh, how they think the best way to propose it would be. So we'll see. Once again, no rush. Fine with you? Yes. Cool. Um, so, how do you see yourself beginning to work uh, this week? I was thinking of creating a simple Docker files as we discussed uh, yep. to, for the early part without any um, blue complicated things. Uh, Docker compose file, I guess. So with um, a controller class and an agent. And maybe one job. Um, but it's not monetary. I think we could do even without a job and what will happen will happen. <laughs> I mean, uh, if I remember well, uh, if you don't define jobs and if you restart Docker, uh, you may lose just about everything depending on how you described your volumes. Um, and we could want a very simple example without any job so people can then take the tutorial on Jenkins IO documentation and try to create a job by themselves or we could have one job bundled in uh, so people can start experimenting uh, without having followed the tutorial about creating your first job I don't know I think the two of them would be interesting feel free to experiment and maybe do one do both of them do as you please and give us some feedback and uh, we'll see how we can integrate that later on. Okay for you? Okay. Cool. So how do you plan to test that? Uh, I, I have a working setup on my, uh, my, set, my computer and I do use uh, cloud sometimes to test uh, on oh, different operating nice. systems. So when you say cloud, uh, which cloud do you think of? I usually use AWS. Oh, you have credits on AWS? Yes, I have some credits. Cool. Uh, cool. But <laughs> um, I hope it won't cost you much or anything because you don't have to pay something to <laughs> for this GSOC project. Yes, no, it's not that much. It's fine. I have some free credits. Okay. Um, do you have an Oracle uh, account? Uh, no, I don't have Oracle account. Right? Because it's free, for real. Okay. 
Uh, you can have, I think, up to four machines. And um, one of them is pretty interesting because it's ARM-based. So yeah. your, I guess your laptop is x86-64. Mm -hmm, yes. And on Oracle Cloud, you could get an ARM machine, ARM64 machine for free. And with more memory that you could have on your x86 um, Oracle Cloud machine. I mean, they give more memory and more CPU when you use um, ARM64 for whatever reason. But it does work and it's free. So maybe you could try that. Yes, I, I'll try the Oracle Cloud. Uh, but I don't know how they do with regions, because for me, they are providing me machines in the European region, of course, because I'm located in France. So they provide me with machines in the Netherlands. But I don't know about Asia. I do hope they also have some ARM machines, but you will let us know uh, if that's not the case. Yes. OK, um, I had another idea, but it's maybe way too early. What about? testing also with Gitpod. Uh, yeah, Gitpod, yes, it's a good idea. But maybe it's too early, I don't know. How do you feel about that? Uh, I think uh, we should test with Gitpod since it's uh, mentioned in proposal too. To... Yeah, but I don't want you to feel uh, overwhelmed by the amount of things you have to learn before doing something. So no, I'd be I'm, glad I'm if familiar. you could... I'm familiar with Gitpod. Oh, fantastic. Great. Um, yeah, so Ashutosh will try it. Cool. Uh, because it's not that difficult to Gitpodify an existing repo, so people can just click uh, and get it to run in their browser. And I, don't know, I have the um, Gitpod, what is it? A Chrome extension. Uh, yes, yes, so you yes. don't have uh, to... Yeah, so you've got the green button, button directly in the yes. yeah. Get it. But for some people who have not yet it configured, maybe you could add in the README, uh, you know, the right link. If you've yes, got the, uh, um, uh, if you got the extension, it only takes like gitpod.io link before the GitHub repo yeah. link. So I like that. Cool. Uh, as always, I'm talking a lot. Bervianto, do you have anything to um, to share or comment or question? Thank you. Ashutosh, uh, what else? I was uh, going to ask you guys, what do you think uh, about AI? Should I use it, uh, chat, uh, chat GPT or Bing? Should I avoid it uh, all or what should I do? Should what I could it, it help you for? What would you use uh, it for? For understanding uh, or it does write some basic YAML codes, YAML files. Should I use it or not? If it's a good idea or not. <laughs> That's a tough question. Um... Hmm. I don't think that using it for to generate the files, for example, would be a good thing because you have to learn about that. You have to fail in order to succeed later on. But um, I think it could be interesting if you want to know more about what you wrote and why it works or why it doesn't work. You know, like some text explanation, I have used it to help me understand um, some Docker files, for example, that I was writing and it was not working, working as expected, you know. So I asked ChatGPT, can you let me know line by line what that thing does and why it fails in the end? So that kind of usage, 
I think it could be helpful, but getting it to write documentation or write Docker file, Docker compose file, and so on, I think it's not that good of an idea. But of course, that would be a tool that will be mandatory just about everywhere a few years from now. So it's not a bad idea to start experimenting with it, but I'd like to keep it pretty much constrained uh, for this project. So as a verification tool, as a teach me something tool, but not at write my code insti instead of me. That's not such a good idea, I think, even if that's not what you meant in the first place. So it also helps me because I'm not a native English speaker. So whenever I write an article or something, not whenever, sometimes I ask ChatGPT proofread my writing, um, uh, correct any spelling mistakes, grammar mistakes, things like that, but not much more than that. Berviento, what's your feedback about ChatGPT and other AI tools? Yeah, I think uh, it will good. It will be good, be good for using just verification or just to understand uh, line by line, not for generating or other, another thing. Thank you. <laughs> Why? Okay, uh, I don't know why my editor doesn't work anymore. I... <laughs> it doesn't take the letters in the right order. Okay, I <laughs> try it later on. Ah, come on. Okay, uh, it will prove difficult writing with something like that. Dogify is not that difficult. You can do it. I don't know why. Something is wrong. Okay. Forget it. I don't know why it's not working anymore. Um, it works on this line. That's funny. Um, <laughs> Okay, Ashutosh, is that part clear for you? Yes, it's clear. I'll use it as a teacher, not for generating code. Cool. Cool. Um, fine with me. <laughs> okay. Uh, any other question, Ashutosh? Uh, no, not any of them. I, I'm good. Not any other questions. Okay. Uh, would you have anything to share, something to show us, or anything? I was wondering if uh, I should, uh, uh, about the Blue Ocean plugin, uh, uh -huh. should I? Go ahead. Uh, uh, in proposal, uh, when I was making proposal, mentor said that Blue Ocean plugin is not being a, a uh, updated further on, so we'll use the uh, pipeline graph view plugin. Yeah, the thing is, it's not that it's not updated, it's still updated for security reasons and so on, but security. no new features. It's about, yeah, security issues and things like that, but uh, and dependencies. So we still have some new version of the Blue Shane plugin from time to time, but um, it should be deprecated or it already is deprecated. So we yes. should switch to another plugin, which doesn't have yet all the same features so it's not as good as a blue ocean plugin but yes we don't want to i don't want sorry 
uh, to get Blue Ocean plugin within your tutorials because we will have to remove it a few months from now. So that would be double the work. Uh, so we could try experimenting with um, all the plugin you mentioned. I have already forgotten the name, which is Pipeline Graph View plugin. Yeah, you got it. Uh, yes, of course you can ha add it, but I haven't uh, experimented with it. Did you try to play with it yet or not? I played with it uh, while uh, making my proposal, but uh, I don't remember much about it right now. I'll work <laughs> on it this week. Okay, no problem. Um, so switch to switch to pipeline graph plugin if I'm. Okay. Graph view plugin. Graph what? Sorry. V view view. Graph view. Oh, graph view plugin. My bad. Cool. Thank you. And um, I know it's pretty handy, but it's maybe not necessary to add it in the very first proposal. Yeah, yeah. Have, you know. Yeah. First first uh, file would be simple, so no. As simple Blue as possible. Up. But um, yeah, I guess you will have, uh, huh? I don't know. I was just wondering. You won't have any plugin installed by the. Oh, yes, you will. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll see. I was just thinking aloud because the first time I tried um, installed pl installing plugin, I had to use a Docker file, which is not our aim. We just want to have a Docker Compose file without any Docker. A fight to write so people can start experimenting pretty quickly and yeah um, in the docker file I used to have the command you know um, something plugin minus minus plugin and the list of plugin I wanted to install but of course with docker compose you should use something uh, um, plugins.txt the txt sorry file in which you define all the list of the plugins you want to install so no need to use a docker file uh, so thanks to uh, what is it? Plugins.txt. Yes. Define all the plugins. Cool. Anything else? Uh, I was wondering, uh, there is a Docker file before, uh, and that will be. Uh, used in Docker Compose files, so if we can upload that uh, as a Jenkins, uh, so we can get uh, running the instance in only one step by copying Docker Compose file. There is also a Docker Docker file needed for that right now. I'll uh, wait a minute. I'll show you. Yep, please. Mm. This Docker file uh, is also needed right now with these commands. So I was thinking if we can upload this Docker file to Docker Hub directly. Um. Uh, so you want to upload the image link to that to Docker no. Hub? I want no. your opinion. What do you think? Should we upload uh, it on Docker Hub directly so it will not be needed here, or should we put it here or not? Uh, I don't think we will need that Docker file anymore. Um, okay. We'll we'll see. If you th do think you need a Docker file or an image published. We'll think about that, but uh, for sure it won't be easy to upload to Docker Hub with a Jenkins account. So maybe you could try uh, something with um, GitHub um, Docker Images repo. You can host your Docker images within Gitter, uh, Gitter, GitHub. Okay. So if you, I haven't, I haven't done it before, so I don't. Okay. Right so. Now. Uh, well, for the time being, what should we do? 
Oh, I'm not sharing my screen, of course. <laughs> um, there we go. Use GitHub uh, Docker images. How is it called? Repo? Um, yes. I don't know. Yeah. We'll understand. Huh? The image uh, linked to the existing Docker file to simplify the work for the end user. We could also try to get rid of it. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Okay, uh, three minutes to go, I, th I think. Or did I set up for 50 minutes or 40? I can't remember. I don't remember either. Or oh, maybe even one hour, so we're not in a rush. Um, anything else, Ashutosh? Uh, I just wanted to mention that from today, I will uh, up, uh, upload my daily progress on the GitHub repo I said, uh, suggested. So whatever I do in the day, I'll... Uh, post it on there. Um, okay, why not? The... Uh, so don't hesitate to put the link uh, in the documentation or share it via the chat so I can put yeah. it in the doc as you please. It's the same one, uh, same one on chat right now. The main experimental file, I'll do it in the experimental file, made a separate folder there oh, for the okay. dates. Cool. Okay, uh, fine with me. Beaviento, uh, anything to ask Ashtosh or some feedback? Okay. Ashutosh, uh, do you need some help right now to start something? Do you want that we pair to, in the minutes that we still have to progress on your project or everything is fine with you and you want to work on your side, which is also fine with me? Everything is fine. Okay, <laughs> cool. Uh, looks like a wrap. Um, so we are done. I'll put the video uh, on YouTube and then in the communityjenkins.io blog post. And I'll try to keep my eyes open on Gitter, on the Gitter channel. So if ever you have a question, I hope to be able to answer. Um, no public holiday on my side this week, no day paid day off, no. So I should be available from <laughs> today to Friday night. Um, so don't hesitate if you have any question to ask it on Gitter and I do my best to answer. Fine with you? Okay, okay fine. Be uh, I have public holiday on Thursday. Oh, cool. First. So I'm going to be out of labor on Okay. Um, would you mind to share what it is? Uh, so you're in Indonesia, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's fantasy holiday. Or what is it? Yeah, it's fantasy holiday. <laughs> Okay, uh, whatever. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Um, in France, where I live, today is also um, a public holiday. In fact, it's a um, festival uh, linked to Christianity. And the thing is, the French government decided a few years ago that even if it's a festival public holiday, you will work nonetheless <laughs> um, to give some money to the elderly people, something like that. That's it. Something that it's a public holiday, but where you have to work, which is fine. So we won't see you on Thursday, Bevianto. Thanks for sharing. 
Okay, Thank folks. You, uh, see you on Guitar and next week, same time, same place. Okay. Bye. Bye.